Hi, my name is G.S. Bailey and I do military drills. And if you like what you see, or if you find me mildly entertaining, I don't know, I don't know maybe you do, but I, I cannot do a boring tutorial set. I can't be the one that goes around going, this is how to do a counter march. This is how to do a wheel. This is how, no, that, that, that just isn't me, okay? That isn't me when I'm teaching, okay? Even though I am the military band guy, that's not how I teach, okay? Don't forget. Well, I teach military band, but we teach military band styles, but I, I can't teach it boring. I can't teach anything like, and anything musically boring, okay? I, I just can't. But don't forget to like and subscribe down there. Do not forget to ring the bell. That tells you when the next video comes out, yada, 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 right? And I got it right the first time. Don't forget to leave a tip, okay? So let's get started today. We are using today the single most powerful tool ever in Piware. It is the traditional tool, okay? That's right there. Now you see, I've got things kind of set up here and I'm going, I need my squad picker again as my default. I tried making one a little bit ago on the same deal and guess what? I messed up horribly. Okay, so I've got page tabs set up for the diamond drill. Today, you are going to figure out the diamond drill. The secret will be revealed. Be prepared. Be prepared. I'm scared. Don't be scared. So let me try to get that centered again. I don't like it when it's off kilter like that. All right, so just don't. All right, so I'm gonna hit this 16 count page tab here. I've already set it up. Remember how to set up a page tab. You come here, you hit add, and you put in your numbers. In this case, zero, 16, and 32. Okay, pause the video and catch up if you need to. I already did it before because as I told you, I messed up. Sorry, messed up. Now, I'm gonna pick these two groups right here. All right, the ones that are not in red and white. Why do you always pick red and white? So your enemies will never see you bleed. That's why the British military used red uniforms for that very reason. That was the same reason the Spartans did before them so that your enemies will never see you bleed. No, actually it's because where I went to high school, they were red and white. So guess what? I used that. <laughs> I like the other explanation better though. So here we go, let's highlight them. And I'm going to mess around with this today. I'm gonna to mess up on purpose a lot of times. These are on purpose mess ups. Now, here we go. You've got this big deal about the traditional tool and the commands used. I never hitch, don't show this again when it comes to the traditional tool because I wanna make sure that is fresh in my memory if I'm going to do a path with it. Okay, you're limited to vertical and horizontal pathing. So, okay, if it's not that way, I would not happen. Uh, now, you can apply a pattern to it too. Eh, I, I, I don't worry about applying patterns to it. If I'm gonna have a pattern on it, I'm gonna go in there and precisely do it so I don't mess up. Oh, hey, they went to my, they went to my red and white uniform there when I hit that tool. They must know what's coming. Uh, <laughs> They must know what's coming. Now, see here on the traditional panel, I'm gonna bring it over here to the middle, okay? My stride is set to eight to five. If you're following along and doing this on a six to five grid, which means your hash marks are not gonna line up with mine because I'm on, a, I'm on any other high school field that's not from the state of Texas, okay? So in order to do this, guess what you're gonna to have to do if you're on a six to five grid? Change the eight to a six. You are so right, okay. So let's bring them up. I'm gonna bring this one up here. One, two, three, four up. Now you see here right now, that's all you've done is bring them up to that point. So watch what happens. Four out of our 16 counts are gonna be moves and the rest of it's gonna be marked time. If you need them to just all collapse into a great big long line from whatever, this is the tool you use. Okay, so watch, they're just gonna come up and you see the rest of them are blinking too, but only, but you know, focus on them and focus on them and they are back to the other uniform, okay? <sighs> well, that's okay. So we're gonna have, start in with a command structure. Everything here is from their perspective, not yours. So if you want them to turn right, it's going to be right flank, they're right. See, I'm gonna have to zoom out in order to get them there. 
So let's just see. This says right flank and go to the end. Just put RF for right flank. Okay, here we go. Three, four. And then they're going to the rest. Of, oh, sorry. That way. No, that way. That way. Sorry. Mirror, those mirrors get me every time, don't they? So we have right flank. All right. So, well, why not? Let's just not make it so, so cut and dry. Right flank four. So that makes eight. So left flank four. And then what? Mark time. Four. Okay. Mark time four. Okay. So let's see what goes on. Two, three, four. There's a turn. And remember, because you're dealing with that kind of a line, it's going to hit it that way. Now, <clears throat> the rip to make the ripple effect, and you remember why I started with that one. But you can have them start there too. That, that, that doesn't matter. That um, sometimes I just don't want them to crash and into my other spot for later. Okay, this this is my save for later. The diamond is saved for later because we're going to show you the diamond drop. All right, so we want ST2, that, uh, not ST12. We don't want to step 12 through. All right, so we want to go, we just want to make woo, 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 and wait, okay? So TR4, that makes eight, four, eight, 12, 16. Now you see how they've ended. Ooh, I might want to do that on a diamond drill one day. I might want to finish that way on a diamond drill one day, but I, no, no, I, I don't know if I want to do that or not now. I'm going to think about it. Think about it. So here they go. And you see, they're going to snap back and forth. They're not following the direction of the movement. And I don't like that. So I'm going to select everybody, make sure they follow the direction of the movement. Facing, follow movement, apply changes, because we're not afraid to show you our facts. There we go. Traditional tool. Yep, I already know the commands. Mm -mm, three, four. All right, eight to five. Remember, if you're on a six to five grid, what do you need to do? Change the eight to six. That's right. All right, TR4, TR4, TR4. And now we can do it because they're going to actually follow the direction of the movement. Here we go. See now how they're snapping their turn back. And you see, they just kept going wah, 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 like that. If I had a, more of a count, say 32, why don't we try 32? Just so you can see the wave effect. I'll have it go to 32 just to show you the wave effect on this, okay? This is how you make waves, traditional tool. This is why I will always tell you that when, uh, that when you have this kind of question that involves these tools, this is why I go. It's in the traditional tool pack that you didn't get because it's a traditional and military. All right, so ST2. All right, so that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 23, 132, right? All right, let me see here. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. That's right. Let's see him make waves. So I watch either view here. I'll play it twice so you can see the wavy effect. There they go. If only four people were making waves, okay? And of course, follow along at home and hit this going on, okay? This is, like I said, the single most powerful tool you'll ever have. Now, <clears throat> so you saw how to make the ripple effect. You can play an experiment on this, okay? So let me hit escape because I'm not going to need them any longer. So I'm going to delete this crew. So delete, delete performers. And yes, I do want them gone. Now focus over here on this crew. And you can see here, they're still in that, they're still in the all dark uniform that I just don't like. All right, so 16 counts. I'm going to move my real view over here because... I'm going to have to come over here just a hair. Again, it's just because I don't want them to try and collide with my diamond, okay? Because that is my big deal of the day is the diamond drill. All right, so here we go. Traditional tool, close. Now, when it's stacked this way, when they're stacked up, if I just have them come down and mark time, one, two, three, four, look what'll happen. They're going to converge in this point, which looks really cool with pyware marchers, but it doesn't translate very well with real people because they're real people. All right, so you can see here, it's kind of a really cool effect. They're kind of yum into each other like that. It's really cool looking, but 
I want him to do more than just converge because we can't have real people converge. That would not end well. Not at all. All right, so why don't we just have them do, uh, do a flank from their perspective? Remember, so left flank. And you see there, kaboom. So let's see it over the 16. If you just need him like that, there you go. Sometimes, uh, but that's a follow the leader, isn't it? It's a follow the leader, but you can save your stuff, okay? So at left flank to the end, well, how about if I do left flank four, uh, right flank four, because look, LF four, four, eight, 12. So I can do one more. Let's say it. Let's say it. I'm just going four, 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 four. Let's say it because I like to experiment and play around with this stuff. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now they're going to go one key again. There we go. And there we go. That poor soul did not make it. I needed 18 counts, but that's okay. So experiment and play around with this. If you want them to go up and mark time for a minute, that's okay. If you want them to do a sequential takeoff, I mean, oh, I got, let me just revert them. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? Now, one, two, three, four. So we want to step two, just like that, right? And then what? Let's just have them right flank and go to the end. And you see how much that goes off. You can do this in a vertical group too. It's a way to consolidate a lot of commands all at once, which is the crux of the diamond drill too. It's just smishing those commands all at once, okay? So you don't have to go, so you don't have to stop every two counts and redraw the form, okay? So let's see how it looks. Three, four, and there they go. We're widening them out with a step two in the right flank. And that's all we're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna delete them out. I'm gonna recenter this if I can. Is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. That works. All right, so let me get, get them deleted. All right, delete, delete performers and delete them out. Okay, so now I can move my real view window back here where I usually keep it. <clears throat> now, give me one moment here because I'm having a personal need and I'll be right back. All right, I am very sorry about that, y'all. I, I had a need that I had to take care of. Um, so let me zoom in here because they're going to stay pretty much in that area. So I can zoom right in and get them. All right, so we need to default to the lasso tool. The lasso tool makes this so much easier. So I'm going to close that out. Yep, and I want the lasso to be the new tool. Now, this is, in this case, a 32 count move because I have to go 16 here and 16 there to flare back out into the diamond, okay? If you don't want to do the pass through, your math changes. Your math will change and this becomes a 28 count move, okay? Because you got 14 in to get to your diagonals and then you're gonna flare back out that way. I'll show you both ways. I promise you I will today, okay? But I may have to take a time out to recalculate my math, okay? But I'm gonna show you with the pass through first and then without. So this group here is going to be, yoink, done up like that. But instead of the full 16 just yet, knocking back one to 15, just knocking back one, this will make sense on the pass through. Okay, whoops, 15, because I want, I wanted 15, not 16. All right, so you see there, they're kind of a hot mess, right? Okay. And this group here, I don't want to save. It's trying to auto save on me. All right, so let me default here again. Now, this group right there does the exact same dealie, okay? They'll do the exact same deal. All right, so 15. See, they're getting close. They're getting close to that pass-through moment, aren't they? So now comes the fun part. Trying to get this group without getting anybody else. Got and here's all you gotta do in traditional tool, ready? And if you made a six to five diamond for this drill, 
Guess what you're going to do? Change the 826. You are so right. Only command you need, TR. Bring this guy right, bring this old box right there. Bring that one right there. Or girl, I don't know. Guy or male or female or however you want to identify on that one. There we go. At 15 counts. Now, same deal on the other side. I did not do that mirror on purpose. Here we go. And again, remember, you got to try to get them without getting anybody else that you've already moved. I should have done that part first, huh? And again, I'm going to have you one, two, like that. Your command is TR one more time. Now, we're at the pass-through moment. We are at that pass-through moment. Ready? In one count, they do the pass-through. Usually, one group. When I do a pass-through like this, I, I kind of cheat. I have one group do a bigger step, to, yeah, up and over, okay? So today, we'll have this group do the up and over. And again, you see how I got to take my time on that, right? So, yoink, yoink. Oops. Oh, come on. I'll oh, give me the box. Good goodness. There. And the same deal with this one. He's moving over one. And now this whole set, this whole big diagonal right here moves up and up, moves just over, okay? You're not going to do over and up. You're going to have them just go over one time. Make sure I did not get anybody in that other group, okay? Now, now comes the real fun part. We have to untangle our diamond here. Ready? So first off, let's do the, the get the low hanging fruit done by eight so you can get them back to the middle. We're going to get the low hanging fruit first. Okay. So you go this way, not by 128. You're going to go by eight. And again, if you are dealing with six to five grid, change the eight to a six. That's right. You just go nah, 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 and keep tapping over there until you get a six. Or you can just drag them back because they're going back to where they were. Now, one count. One count. And we got to untangle this mess. Ready? Wish me luck. Good luck. All righty. So. Sometimes I would zoom in just to hit this. And then that way I know which ones I'm getting. Did I get anybody in the other group? No. Thank goodness for that. Oh, but I got to get one more, don't I? I got to get that one more, don't I? Yep. Yep. So one more. Give me that one more right there. There we go. Now, the command structure remains the same. This is my group that did not have to go up. Okay. So I can do this. The group that did not go up gets their TR command. Okay. So TR, get to that yard line. And look, the diamond has reformed on that end. But this also makes lassoing the other group a whole lot easier for that one beat. Because I've got to get them back and go. I got to get them back in one count because I messed up my math here. I messed up my thing because remember, they have to pass through. This is the one with the pass through. So it's like, and then they go back down. Okay. So they're back down and in the grid. So let me highlight. We, and I can go like really crazy on that part. And then, oh, I hope I didn't tag that one. If I did, I'm in trouble. I did not. Okay. So then the rest of the way, I'm going to drag my yellow handle and then it's going to lock up. And then the red handle takes over to get back to 32. Same deal. TR. Go like that. And we're back to the diamond. You want to see the finished product? Great. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Yeah, I do. Okay. So we're going to go from zero all the way to 32 now. And here they go. You've just made the diamond drill. Here comes the pass through. 
You can do this with double diamonds, triple diamonds, however you need to do it. Okay. Now, there you go. Now, <clears throat> let me do my calculations in my head, and then I will show you how to get this without the pass through. Okay. All right, I got it calculated now. It's four, it is 14 and 14. I was right. Uh, so we're going to add two more tabs, 14 counts, okay? 46 and 60. If you don't want to actually do that math in your head, you hit add, and I'm going to show you the trick here that I used, okay? Add page tab, 14 counts. That's how you do it, okay? But I don't need one because I already did. Okay, that's how you do it. If you just need to add the counts from your head in there, you put it 14 counts after the last page. Now, here we go again, the lasso tool. See, again, this groupie here is going to just roll over 14 counts. 8.8 to, .8 to five, there we go, we got it. If you're dealing with a six grid, you just keep hitting the arrow key until it becomes a six. That's right, man, you guys are so good. All right, so let's lasso the next group. Or no, let, uh, no, 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 I'm still going to get that low-hanging fruit. We're going to we're gonna lasso the low-hanging fruit. Sorry. Eh, get out of there. Okay, yes. All right, so low-hanging fruits. And remember again, 14 counts. Okay. And remember, they are not going to hit they're not passing through this time, okay? This is the one without a pass-through for the ones that are a little more purist, and that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes I do get a little more showy than I should and go ahead. There we go. And now for my last crew here. Now for my last crew. All right, they are the same command structure. TR, you're gonna drag that box right there, right there, right there, right there, there we go. Now we have to undo what we did. Undo what we've done. <clears throat> and that all, easy now. Easy, easy, easy now. I'm gonna box these three up. All they gotta do is move over by eight. They're back to normal, okay? And same deal, I'm gonna lasso them and they're moving this way by eight, right? So I'm gonna click like that and hit eight. And if you're on a six to five grid, change the eight to a six. And you guys are way too smart. All right, so now, back we go. Same command structure. We'll just highlight this entire diagonal and do it. Okay, and again, it's the same command. All this is is to the rear, and then, and they're back in their diamond, back in the diamond again. So we'll lasso one more time. And remember again, this is the one without the pass through. And to the R, to the rear and go to the end. Done, wasn't that easy. All right, so let me put this back at 32. So we're going from 32 to 60, which is 28 counts. So this is without, again, without the pass through, okay? Watch what happens. And you gotta kind of visualize it in your head where to go too. And now we're going back. <laughs> We come back because we did not do the pass through. And I understand if you don't want to do it. I understand if you don't, okay? But I, I do plot what I call the Sousa drill, which has only two pass throughs in it and the line drill and the diamond drill. And one day we'll do a Sousa drill, which is opening form, line drill, diamond drill, pinwheel out and go to the final form. Five pieces. That's all it is. That's the Sousa drill. Okay, so... Why don't we see the whole thing now? So I'm going to go back to here to zero, where I can always hit this one button here, but I do want them to stop, okay, instead of just marking time. So here we go. Remember, these three, these tabs here are with the pass-through. These are without. Here we go. 
So here they go. Keep an eye on your real view window. Here, let me restart that because I want you to keep an eye on the real view window and I'm going to expand this. So let's expand that by just a hair. All right, I'm gonna cover your cover the whole grid with it. Cover the whole grid view with it. And I wanted you to see just the, the effect that this kind of a drill is going to get. Ready, this is the diamond drill with pass through then without with remember this is with pass through and you see on there to the rear here there are core band train through and through because they face the front at all times with their chest especially on this side they do it to the rear correctly here now this is without the pass through okay so then they just come back out to reform the diamond. They just flare it back out. No matter what, you're still going to have to flare it back out. Now, let me shrink this back down and you can see the whole thing in our grid view. Okay, I'm going to expand that back out by just a hair. <clears throat> so if you liked that with, with seeing the big real, bigger picture with real view, uh, an expanded real view, comment. Tell me you want to see more like that. And if you don't, comment. Tell me you want to see less like that. Go to precision. I will be going to precision sometime soon. Go to Envision. I'll be going to Envision soon enough too. So here we go. One last hurrah in the grid view. So keep an eye on the grid view now. Ready? Keep an eye on the grid view. So with pass through. This is with again, because I remember the yellow anchor is all the way back at zero. And like I said, it's a little bit of trickery. Sometimes you got to do that too. A little bit of trickery, but sometimes you don't have to. Now here's without the pass through. It, you may just have a 28 count spot where you where they're expanded like that. And they just need to. There you go. So remember the traditional tool is the single strongest tool you are ever going to run into in Pyware, okay? You've just seen the secret to the diamond drill. Maybe, just maybe, I will see some of them very soon. Trademark! Oh, well, oh you saw the trick nine it's new now. All right, because, you know, I run without a net a lot of times. So. <laughs> All right, so the next time we meet, I'm going to go through the visual editor. I want to do that first before I show you pinwheels done right. And that will also be when I do the parade gate tool. But first off, has to be the visual tool, okay? And I'll show you all the tricks to changing uniforms out and to making, making sure they follow the direction of the movement, okay? That's kind of important to us because, again, we're not afraid to show you our backs. Um, so until then, happy drilling, practice and play around with the traditional tool for a while. Okay. Bye, everybody. You have a great day. And if I don't make one before Monday, have a great weekend.